Hi guys, I'm back. It's getting dark, but I was like, I didn't have any lighting with me, and it's something I really need to reinvest in because whilst sort of moving, I got rid of all my lighting and stuff. So yeah, I noticed that having gone through my videos, you guys enjoy like a lot of chit chat stuff, like a lot of really personal stuff that sometimes is a bit uncomfortable um recording and i suppose they're just snippets of information you have to miss out because I, I do feel like if we are vulnerable as individuals then it's a lot easier to deal with our problems so to speak um so this one in particular was a comment i got on my last video um and it's in regards to my relationship to my previous relationship I believe the person um mentioned oh can you tell us what sort of happened I don't think again when I came back when I did my sort of coming back video I mentioned that it wasn't working or no like people grow people change people want different things um I just like to address something because I feel like in society sometimes they just feel like people need to be in a relationship or people need to have companions and stuff um and it's nice it's a great thing but i'll talk about mine in particular um i mean a lot of things kind of happen but it was also i think like i said i've been with my ex for about seven years so since i was like 18 19 and now I'm like 27, going on to 28. Um, we broke up when I was about 25. And uh, I mean, so much has happened and during the relationship we, we had amazing fun together and we sort of grew together as well. But we, I'd say both of us as individuals were free spirits, right? Like, And it's because we are free spirits, we feed off of each other's energy. And so even if when like we're excited about something, it's like we act like kids, like we're screaming and we just have to do a super adventurous um, when the time's right, not all the time. And it's like when we're kind of down, it's, it's just not good. It's like we're both down. So there was that sort of contrast and there was also the things that worked. Um, like I said, I think I had my own aspirations and he had his own aspirations um, and left to me. It was almost like I always felt like, oh, am I doing what I'm doing because like I have a partner? Like, could I be adventurous anyway without anyone, without needing anyone's validation, like anyone's validation? And that sort of a question that I had for myself and sort of my soul, like, who am I? What do I want to be? And what do I want to do? And I'm a very super independent person. I said sometimes I do get choked if I do get choked when I'm, I feel like my being or my personality or some has been threatened, so to speak. And I wouldn't say that was the same for my old relationship because that's exactly what it wasn't. Um, but a part of me always felt like, oh my God, I could do this. I could do that then I do say but in my head but because I've got all these I've got I've got commitments I da, 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 I can't do this so it was a bit of a hindrance and um a lot of things happened and it was just for me it was perfect timing to just get out right um and so we just both mutually kind of it was like mate you know it's not working I can see like you want something different and I want something different or or whatever or do you know what like let's just go and find each other find ourselves without us being together and like I said it's just been really really amazing in terms of like me knowing how to stand on my own two feet without having to ask someone for advice although I'd ask my parents but now I feel like I'm responsible for my own decisions and um 
and just learn about myself more um, and I tried to do quite a lot of I wouldn't even say self-development because I don't like the idea of self-development I think the idea of self-development is I suppose it, it is it all depends on how you view it for example I mean it's sort of I mean when you kind of do like a self-reflection you're kind of looking at yourself and looking at what you're having a look at your strengths and your weaknesses and seeing how those benefit you and you can use those to your advantage even if there are um even if they don't serve like if they're disadvantages because you can use your personality or your character to get anything you want even if some of the character traits are negative right so it's sort of just being aware of who you are and then being able to articulate that and sometimes if people are like oh she's too much or whatever you can just say look it's it's who i am and um i i understand where you're coming from blah 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 and maybe you know perhaps we can't we're not the right friends or we're not compatible in that sense it's okay to be that honest and you don't have to get on with everybody um and I'm very into knowing about self, right? And achieving self desires and not, sometimes you have to be very um, guarded with what your desires are because it's easy for human beings to sort of judge that and everyone else to say, actually, you shouldn't desire that, but it's very personal to you. And you're the, you're the only one, you're the only one that knows why you desire what you desire, right? So um, it's worth knowing yourself and just being able to accept that and just giving yourself that love. Um, again, I've gone through quite a lot of, like since I graduated from university, I've gone through quite a lot of stuff and I've noticed that it's been really hard to keep my energy levels. Um, it's been quite difficult actually, but it's something that I've become aware of, not judged, I'm just aware of it. And um, so I know when to do my best work when I'm aware of the like these energy these like these changes sometimes I'm like I can't do this anymore blah 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 it's too much I'm overwhelmed anxiety this and then I become aware of it and I'm like just breathe in like just understanding how you know because I absorb it's just like absorbing sort of I read the room like crazy and I can feel energy so bad like and then it changes my mood or it changes how I feel I could go into a room where there's so much negativity and instantly I know like I can just feel it like my energy levels just drop and I'm like why do I feel so drained um so again it's part of I noticed I haven't done sort of the 16 the 16 personalities test I'm a huge fan of personality tests anyway um I'm the campaigner character and it like it's so perfect it describes me so perfectly and it does say that part of my so similar celebrities to my character are Carrie Bradshaw in Sex and the City as the character there's Quentin Tarantino there's Will Smith and some others and I feel like I, like I feel I resonate with that because I feel like when I see their person that's how I am as a person and um, I do get misjudged quite a lot because of the way I carry myself but whatever everyone judges everyone um but it's only when you get to know me that you realize um so as a character trait so I'm an extrovert quite intuitive and majority of my energy I do get outside of me and I I get inspired by interacting with people and understanding different personalities and things like that. That's where my energy levels just spike. Um, and again, I'd agree with that because I just get so much. I love interacting with people. I just, I love understanding people's perspectives. But the downside to that is, you know, when I'm not sort of received well, then I feel like it's an attack on me. Um, but again, I'm aware of that. So in regards to, again, my relationship and in general, we still talk. No hard feelings. I've accepted. We've both accepted, you know, what happened in the past. It doesn't mean that the relationship is going to be related or he's going to be my life companion or, or whatever or things like that. We're not projecting that far ahead. We're just friends. And I'd like to know that there's still 
quite a lot of people out there that I'm yet to meet or just interesting people when diff like with interesting perspectives like I don't want to keep myself in this box or in this reality that this is all there is and because I don't believe that and if I feel like I've accepted that truth then I'm going to be extremely down so I don't necessarily agree with that um but yeah I I do again it's it's nice that you guys have sort of probed the question and you've raised the question for me to talk about these issues because again like I said anything that's personal development spiritual is something that resonates with me and I think when I do write my blog posts I do reference it quite a lot because I'm a very deep thinker um I like to probe and observe and understand why this is so I'm uh, I'm always asking the question why so um, again, I'm more than happy to to touch on these sort of topics and these issues. And even if that involves us sort of moving to the next level of whatever phases we are in our lives, then please, I'm more than happy to do that. And I'm more than happy to do that research and, and talk to you guys more about those areas. Um, but again, creativity is also a big part of me. So if it's involves anything that's creative as far as um, uh, lifestyle, beauty and fashion, then I'm going to incorporate that. But let me know your thoughts on these sort of like chit chat videos. I think I think they're really great because I, I do find myself watching a lot of these videos on YouTube. So um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later and give me some feedback girls. Bye. Look at my nails, what do you guys think? I told my nail guy, you know, I never used to do my nails, but I tried to do this because I felt like I was doing quite a lot of wigs and he did this and I fell in love with it and the colour, it's like, it's like these really nice, uh, it's really nice, I like it. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later, bye.